Hey guys, in today's video, and by the way, happy July 4th. I hope everybody can celebrate freely. I had to work just a little bit today, but I'm back home. And as y'all can see, it's a little bit overcast. The video I'm gonna take you, that I'm gonna show you today, is a call that I went to that was quite frustrating. Um, and I'll show you why. Stay tuned. All right, guys, this thing is short cycling. And I just might get rained on. I had to drive through rain to get here. I sincerely hope it's not that TXV. Hmm. I see the condenser fan motor was turning when I walked up on it. I say I hope it's not the TXV because I've replaced it once. It's looking like I'm gonna have bad news. I can see it. TXV is clogged up. I stuck and I got really low pressures. It's pumping down. And that is not a replaceable power head. So we gotta do this job again. I gotta look back. I gotta look back and see how long it's been since I've done it. See if we can get the part under warranty. All right, guys, I did this TXV four months ago. Clearly, I changed the dryer. I did everything just like you're supposed to. But here we are four months later and this TXV has failed again. So I gotta start thinking what's going on. like sometimes those dryers will start to break up and make little put dust in the system and when they do that it's normally because there's acid in the system so i'm wondering if something like that is happening 
Hmm. Ooh. That'll do. It's an old one, but it'll do. All right, if this turns red or pink, that means we got acid in the system. I don't see it turning red or pink. Watch that for just a second. That's frustrating. Um, This thing almost exclusively runs in cool. Is that a beauty salon? Hmm. Let's see if it'll run in reverse. Locking down again. I wish there was some way I could put a piston in that. Yeah, y'all see those pressures? Ooh. That is locking down in both directions. Why would a TXB do that? Unless we just got a batch of faulty products. I don't know. All right, so I ended up giving them a quote for changing the TXB dryer and replacing all the refrigerant just as a precaution and um i got approval of course the txb is going to be under warranty even though this is commercial because i said four months it was actually five months ago but still i mean i did everything right and if i can find the video i'll try to post a link but um that one's kind of got me flummoxed 
If y'all have had similar problems with this, comment below. Thanks for watching. And when I get the repair, I'll bring y'all along. I'll catch you on the next one.